Good day YouTube and welcome into another Tits Beer Bong 420 Beer Review. Today we will be reviewing from the Hop City Brewing Company in Brampton, Brampton Ontario, Canada. We're going to be doing up their Big Mouth Pale Ale, which qualifies as an American Pale Ale. Now I've had one Hop City beer in the past and it was the Barking Squirrel Lager. And anyways, um, this, um, this, um, Big Mouth, um, Pale Ale here, it apparently used to be called, or might still be called at times, Happy Hour Pale Ale, but apparently they had to, like, change the name because they're claiming some places don't allow it to be sold under that name and stuff like that for whatever reason, but, um, they're saying that they changed it from Happy Hour or at least gave it a second name, Big Mouth, because they're claiming it's their uh, beer with the most bittering units in it of all their beers. Now, um, let me tell you something here. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's happy hour, other times it's Big Mouth. Happy hour because this beer is what every happy hour should taste like, balanced and refreshing. And Big Mouth because this is our most bitter beer Two different names, same great taste in pale ale. So the malts used in this are pale, two row, carastan, and torrified wheat. If I said some of the names wrong, I apologize. Um, the variety of uh, hops used are the U.S. Cascade and the United Kingdom Kent Golding. Comes in at five percent alcohol per volume, and it's also on the IBUs at forty-eight percent. Or sorry, 48. So apparently 48 is the most I've used they put in any of their beers ever. Uh, this is their um, official site, hopcity.com, if you want to check them out. On the back of the beer here, my can says, oh, if I can move it, move some of that shininess and actually read it. Big mouth. One, a noisy, indiscreet, or boastful person who enjoys full flavor brews. Two, an extremely well-balanced pale ale with a flowery and citrusy aroma, ample hop bitterness, and caramel malt sweetness. Three, 48 IBUs of U.S. Cascade and U.K. Kent Golding Hops. Apparently it won Grand Gold winner in Belgium back in 2011. We will be doing big mouth tap room pale ale at 5% from Brampton, Ontario's Hop City Brewery. <sighs> that 22 underneath it, if that matters. So, I'm going to crack it and pour it now. So, here we go. And it's foaming over the can. Both their beers I've had, like the Baking Squirrel Lager, or Barking Squirrel, or whatever the fuck, right? That Squirrel Lager one. It was in a can, and it had like a squirrel holding a hop, and it was a black can. So I guess they must can their stuff, and then you buy it by the single. Out the can. At first I couldn't smell anything, but then I'm starting to pick up some like flavors and stuff that we'll get into when I pour it. So, cheers. You can see whatever coloring the camera wants to show you and I'll look and see what coloring I get and not talk about it. It's extremely carbonated. Lots of those little, little bubbles that just keep going up and up and up and then in some areas 
it's just like single bubbles that are bigger than that constantly going up big soapy uh, white head very very soapy and bubbly like dish soapy kind of look let me take the camera pop city folks all right um big mouth tap room um it smells nice it's like it's got like huh this smells like really nice for one thing it's light and a refreshing smell of like maybe like lemon and citrus a little bit of like a spice maybe you can tell it's gonna be like one of those like citrusy uh poppy beers and it just smells like it's gonna be light on all that and refreshing and whatever i'll just dive in and see what we taste Hmm. Yeah, some some citrus there coming in, starting to make um the saliva a little sour in my mouth. Um. Yeah, like the first taste I got was some of the bitterness and just that citrus is picking up more and more and more now it's finally showing in and taking over some of that bitterness or most of the bitterness even yeah it starts off I'm gonna say really bitter and stuff but in like a light refreshing way where it's not scary And it stays for a short little moment and then in comes um like this like citrus um kind of like taste that has like some maybe caramel now to it a little bit or something and that builds and gets stronger than the hot bitterness gets and this is just this honestly that's one of those sessionable uh, introduction pale ales because you could probably do about two or three pretty damn easily and then you're going to be full because I'm starting to get a little bit full. Snow does that, the fullness with the hops, but just so easy drinking and light. And um... This is probably a good one for the summertime if you can get it in the summertime it's got nice like some caramel some citrus sourness there a bit and it's refreshing very easy drinking a little heavy bellied but starts off with this hot bitterness that seems like it's gonna be strong and rough but actually it's pretty light so I mean um we're gonna be pretty damn full when this is finished it's all right um, it's five percent and I'm gonna give it a six out of ten it's it's all right not bad big mouth 